All right, what's going on, you guys? Um, I'm gonna be doing a video. This is the infrared Rico. This is the 384. I have it mounted on a 22 250. This is a MPA chassis. I'll probably do a a video on this rifle build that I did, but this video is strictly gonna be pretty much a review of this scope. I never re review anything unless I take it out onto the field and really, really use it. And I feel like I've hunted with this enough to let you guys know what I think. And um, so I'm gonna put a lot of footage killing coyotes with this. I actually got a lot of footage killing coyotes with this. But um, the ease of use on this thing, it's got four buttons, easy buttons. You know, you got your menu. There's a lot of stuff I really like about this. I did get the American Defense mount for it. This is like an additional 200 bucks, I think is what it was. So, um, a lot of the things, I really like the um, battery on this. You can pull it out, pops out just like this. You turn the little guy and it pops out. I really like that because you can have a couple extra batteries. This will actually last me all night long. It'll be dead by the time uh, the sun about comes out. But every time I've hunted with this thing, this thing has lasted me all night. I do have a spare battery for it, but I haven't actually ended up using it. But I love when I get home, I can just pull this battery out, put it back in. I've tried um, hunting with scopes that have wires and you have a battery pack and then you try and get a battery pack on your rail somewhere and run a bunch of wires and I'll never ever do that again. I hate all the battery packs and, and all that crap so the battery, battery is huge on there, I really like it. Um, another thing I really like is the zoom button. You just click it and this thing zooms in and then you zoom back. You don't have to hit any other button or do anything else. On my Super Hogster, you had to hit menu and then zoom. But on this one, I love it that you can just tap the zoom button. It's got a manual focus in the front and a focus, focus in the back. But um, I'll show you guys um, some videos of when I first got this and then we'll go right into killing coyotes with this thing. But um, iRay is a super good company, you guys. This is actually infrared, but iRay is the one doing this. It's, it still looks like all the iRay, but if this thing breaks or anything, you send it back and they'll repair it or replace it in five days. That is huge if you're doing tournaments. If something breaks in the winter, you know that you're not gonna miss any derbies or anything. You can send that back in and you'll have a scope within five days. There's nobody else doing that. Um, that's one of the main reasons I am fully getting behind iRay. I think iRay is um, going to be the leader in in thermal scopes here. So, all right.
Got the American Defense mount for it. Extra battery.
guys. So as you can see, the scope is awesome. Um, there really isn't any cons I have with this scope. If I had to pick one thing, this um, this right here turns a little freely, but it's really not that big of a deal because every time you get on a stand, you're gonna adjust your focus to the elements, the um, different weather. You know, that's one of the first things you do. You you know, you turn your scope on and you you get all your focus going when you're on a stand. But if I had to pick one thing that I wish they would change on this, it would it would be for this to be a little tighter so it doesn't turn as easy but like I said you guys that, that is such a minute little problem with this scope this thing is is absolutely great um, the other one other con that I have for this is kind of a pro also um, in some situations this has a native 4x zoom so in some situations if you're you know in a tight area um, this thing really succeeds at like 100 yards plus. This is really a sniper setup scope in my opinion, you guys, because if you have like a 2.5X scope or something, you're gonna have a wider field of view. You're gonna be able to see more in front of you that's close. But for me, this isn't an issue because um, I have a monocular that's 2.5 that somebody's always spotting with. And, um, you know at the same time that's kind of a pro and a con but I think this is more set up for a sniper rig scope in my opinion but um it is absolutely wonderful you guys do not hesitate to get this scope probably the best uh, 4300 bucks you'll spend by the time you get the mount um, really that's all I got man it's got a lens cover on it that's that's really freaking nice Everything about this is um, awesome. Eventually they're coming out with, I guess Europe and stuff already has it. It's the laser, laser rangefinder for this. I can't wait to get one of those. It's not available in America yet, but um, inside the settings and stuff, it's already programmed for it. It just has to get approval. So once that comes out for this, this thing will be even better, even better. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you uh, like, leave a comment, all that crazy good crap. Have a good one.